Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Star Trek Armada 3, A Call to Arms. This is the Cardassian part of the playthrough, and I just finished recording the Dominion one, and uh, yeah, that was interesting, so let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, whisper your way to success. I had the same quote just now. Oh, this one certainly loaded quick. Let's see. Um... Uh, what do we have here? We do not have Imperial Enforcement, and I don't like that. That's something we should get. Also, I just got a bunch of ships adding to the first fleet. Awaiting your command. Always good, always good. Oh, that's right, we conquered a Klingon planet, and we were investing heavily into it, and Jesus Christ, does it cost a lot. Oh my goodness. But, Imperial Enforcement. To make sure this planet doesn't fall out of our hands while we're not looking, and the enemy manages to bomb it into submission. Which, surprisingly, is something the Federation is very fond of doing here. Right away. Because, you know, Terran Empire much, am I right? For the Union. And a bunch of Hideki's. Let's see... Ah, uh, yeah, the first Changing fleet... Course. The first fleet needs them more. Speaking of Hideki's... I'm gonna get some more. This, is, this, just like the other planet, is my production planet. And because of the industrial specialization, uh, my... Ship build, uh, ships build 25% faster. Look at, look at these guys. These are really good textures. Props to whoever made them. More platinum is required. Also, I believe you missed a mine. And oh, good. This one's got the tech impulse beacon. Right away. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. It disables the weapons on the ship, though, but that's fine. And... Right away. There we go. Done. Also, we just built Empaknor. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one where Garak went insane and almost killed um, Nog. And they actually successfully killed four, I believe four other officers. What the hell? This thing is so ah, screw it. It gives them vision to my uh, to my planet, but whatever. It's not. It's a computer. It's not like they calculate the stuff. Or maybe it does. I don't know how the AI in this game works. Let's get a few more ships in here. By the way, do I? No, I don't have a second command ship, so. When I signed the Pact of Alliance with the Dominion, oh, I by the way, to my people that all things Cardassian would once again be ours. Yes, you did, and it didn't w really work out, did it? Now, anyway, let's see. What can we research? Can we research? I'm gonna research this again. More maximum hit points, and, excuse me, and uh, the other thing, what's it? Regeneration, essentially. Repair rate, sorry. Awaiting your command. These are ships we're talking about, not organic structures. Although, supposedly, the Breen, I heard, use um, organics in their ship. But then again, we're not playing the Dominion, so that doesn't matter, that doesn't apply to us. Uh, what do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Maybe I can try to take this planet. Alternatively... Our fleet has arrived. No, this one doesn't matter. Of course it fucking doesn't. Why would it? <laughs> there we go. I'm going to assume the hell out of the possibility that this planet is now taken over by rebels who fly inside Klingon ships because of our influence being so great. 
Let's see. We are number one on Empire rating, somehow, and number one on military ranking. That is good. And only number three on economy. That's because we're actually spending our money. All decks stand ready. On good things. Proper things. And such. There we go. There are the other ships. Hello, Federation. You're not welcome here. Piss off. Uh, let's see. What else we got? Hallucinogenic spores, blah, blah, blah. I think I want to reinforce this planet. Question is, no, I don't have these things yet. The orbital facilities is a really handy upgrade uh, because it enhances the range and the firepower of these things, the turrets. So what I always do is I put a station here somewhere within the gravity well where I, like w inside the radius of which I can build the defenses as well. I put this thing, so bombing the planet is not gonna make it lo make me lose it, and then I just surround it with turrets and place one of those control nodes, uh, orbital facility things, in there. And it's brilliant. It's so excellent. For too long, we Cardassians have yielded to the outrageous demand. It's like Federation nothing breaks through that defense line. What will you have me do? And I couldn't be happier. Anyways. Helmsman. Full impulse. Let's head to this planet and see Galador and see what the enemy has to offer and what kind of enemy it is. We still haven't got this. Ha! Huh. Strange. That's improved trade. Oh wow, even with not so great trade, my my economy isn't doing all too shabby. You guys just blew something up. I'm impressed. Move us to war. All right, cool. What do we got? No, we just got a ton of maquis. Awaiting your command. Transfer all power to weapons. <laughs> Now, I did try to take over one of them before, so you know what, I'm, go I'm gonna take them over again. Oh no, don't. Ugh. You guys constantly overkill the ships that I try to take over. Alternatively, I can just not order to an immediate attack. I mean, that could help, I Adjusting suppose. Course. Or even better, just attack Take these. Because the condors are worthless, essentially. Target that vessel. Alright, come on. My god. This firepower is insane. Friggin' Maki Who? Alright, I'm only going to be. Alright, come on, you will be able to repair him, I believe. Alright, we got one. Always good. Excellent, Galador is ours. And now we return here. Helmsman, full impulse. Well, that was a success if I've ever seen one. Awaiting further orders. Nice and sweet and short and painless. Na, 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 na. Come on. And 
Wait, did I max out? Yep, I maxed out logistics on this one. Did I max out logistics on this one? Yes, I did. Did I... I did not build. Our fleet has arrived. No, but no, now I did. Okay, cool. Um, now what do I want? I want these. So I'm gonna get this. Because that thing is cool. And now... Construction work is complete. I'm gonna build one of those things here. As soon as it's... Then I'm gonna build one of these turrets here. One more of these. Then as soon as I get more money, another one. And I probably need to improve my tactical slots. Yep. Anyways. Conquest is going all in well. Standing by. Conquered yet another ship. And yes, it's been repaired. So yeah, these are like similar to the Breen cruisers that I get, except for instead of regenerating shields, they uh, repair one of the friendly ships, which is, you know, just as useful. Yeah, I just kill them. <clears throat> Besides, I do believe Goldukart needs some Hideki's. Because Hideki's are good. Although... Uh, he doesn't have a colony ship with him, does he? Construction mm, work no. is complete. Oh well. Yes. Oh yeah, he's so dead. <laughs> he's so dead. For too long, we Cardassians have yielded to the outrageous demands of the Oh my god. Oh no, wait a minute. Yes, you do have Hideki's. Well, you're gonna get some more of them. Hideki's, get over there. Ready. Um, this one, do some research. Now there's a large world there. And as far as I know, it's still not taken by any enemies. Which is always a good thing. Awaiting your command. Plus the first fleet could use another Jellux suit. Because I just played the Dominion part. And uh, this one has two Jalaxu ships on it. And I'm intrigued. I would like them. Although, I don't think I can upgrade them. Construction work is complete for the Union. But that is irrelevant because, still, I have plenty of ships. Also, get some military research. Research and stuff. I would like to get Golmadred. Can't remember exactly what he does, but I know that he's pretty dope. Although I'm surprised the ship they put him on, because I, I was expecting them to put him on a galore class, just you know, just like they did with with Janeway, they put the character on a non-capital ship class, well, non-capital class ship. And same with Cisco, they put him on the Defiant, and uh, uh, they put Janeway on the um, uh, what's it uh, the the Intrepid class. There we go. I was gonna say Voyager, but I do know fully well that it's not the class of the right ship. Away. Or at least I think it isn't. Reporting for duty for the Union. All right, you head over here, and reporting for duty. You head over here. Make haste. 
Have we found anything? Ooh! We did! I cannot come Utilizing the ancient technology for the outpost construction of the Tekan Empire allows for the upgrade of starbase structures in heavily populated systems. Nice! Maximum health points, maximum shields, damage increase, armor increase, damage, and again damage increase. And that applies to all of my star bases. So all of these. And that is glorious. Which reminds me, I probably... hang on a second. Nope. I'm going to tax the hell out of the population here. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Yes! Finally made it. Our troops have occupied a new world. And well, come on. There we go. When I sign the pack. All right, Ducat, you head over. Actually, no. You know what? Ducat, you head over here. And the first fleet. Setting a course. Is gonna head to that one. Because the first fleet is the only ship that's got a um, ability to capture enemy ships. Just in course. Yeah, see, Gold Madrid is in one of these Kulinor class, which I don't believe is canon 100% at least. But never mind, it's still pretty cool. Though I was expecting him to come in one of these. Because, simply because, well, I believe he appeared, he first appeared in a Galore class, or a Kelvin class, I don't know. I haven't seen that episode. I know that he first appeared in the, um... I cannot comply. Um... Oh, what's it? Jesus Christ, my memory's terrible. I know that he first appeared in... The Next Generation. Season four or three, I believe. Move us to war. One of them. I haven't watched all of Next Generation. I only watched uh, some episodes of it. I watched majority of Deep Space Nine though, and I loved it. And I watched pretty much all of uh, Enterprise, and the first, I believe, three or four seasons of Voyager. Those were pretty cool. We must not allow this to transpire. And I'm pretty sure right now majority of people are saying, Yeah, well, how the hell can you call yourself, like, you know, a fan of Star Trek if you didn't watch every single episode of The Next Generation and you didn't love every single one of them? Well, I'm sorry, I just didn't get around to it, and, uh, yeah. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> what more can I say? Just... I didn't, I suppose. I'm not ashamed to admit it, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I still love Star Trek, I still think it's an amazing show. Construction work is complete. Move us to war. See, I do believe I can put more cannons on here. Yup! Oh. And I shall. Come on. Come on. God damn it. There we go. Alright, well. I do believe this is all the time we got for now. We got this fleet on the mission of making this world compliant. And. We got Ducat's fleet uh, re-engaging at was this Empaknor. For too long, we Cardassians have and then uh, we have acquired an artifact finally, which improves our star bases. And on that note, we shall end this. Uh, my name is Oleg, uh, and I will see you next time.